I'm Elijah, and welcome back to another Kenko webcast, your number one source for information on labeling and pricing products. Today, I'll be showing you how to properly load and maintain your Toa APN30 series handheld label applicator. If you find this video to be helpful, please click the like button below. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with several key components of the applicator. Let's pick up the applicator with our right hand. Right away, you will notice the label housing assembly. On the left, you will see the roll guard. The roll guard will help secure your labels when the applicator is in use. As the arrows indicate, turning the roll guard counterclockwise will unlock it, while turning it clockwise will lock it. On the label shaft, you will see a plastic core. I'll be talking more about this plastic core later on. Rotate the applicator and take a look at the bottom. Here, you will see the feed mechanism door and a hinged latch at the bottom. This latch has a set of teeth to help tear the liner and a lift that helps bend the liner away from the trigger. Let's open up the bottom by pulling the latch towards the trigger so we can take a peek inside. When you open the door, you will notice the advancing mechanism. The advancing mechanism will grip the label liner pulling it along with every squeeze of the trigger. Close that door back up and secure it by closing the bottom latch. Towards the top of the applicator, you will see the bending bar. This roller separates the label from the liner. Above the bending bar, you will see the nip rollers. The nip rollers will help apply the label to your product. Between the nip rollers and the label housing is a clear plastic piece called the path guide, and above it is the mech sensor. The mech sensor will slide along the surface of the labels and catch the beginning of each label stopping the trigger. Notice the mech sensor moves slightly each time the trigger is squeezed. Now that we are more familiar with the various components, let's talk about choosing the labels that you'll use to fit your Toa APN30 series label applicator. The Toa APN30 series uses labels with a 1 inch core. If your labels are not on a 1 inch core or do not ship on a core, a plastic 1 inch core is provided with every applicator for your use. You can learn how to wind your labels around the core at www.kenco.tv. Once your labels are ready, we'll learn how to quickly and properly load your Toa APN30 series label applicator. First, remove the roll guard by twisting it counterclockwise and lifting it up. The APN30 is especially suited to dispense labels that measure between 0.75 and 1.2 inches wide with a maximum outer diameter of 4 inches. If your labels are wider, you may wish to use the APN60 or APN100 applicator, while for labels of lesser width, you may prefer the APN10-30. I'm going to take off the plastic core, since the custom printed labels I'm using were made specifically for this applicator and are available through Kenco Label. For a quick quote on custom printed labels, call us at 1-800-86-KENCO. Flip the applicator and open the bottom cover by pulling down on the bottom cover latch. Grab a roll of labels and place it on the shaft of the housing assembly in a counterclockwise direction. Next, run the edge of the labels under the clear plastic path guide and pull the labels around the bending bar and down towards the trigger. You'll want to line up the gap in the labels with the top of the door. Slide the labels through the latch between the teeth and lip, making sure the liner extends past the latch, then close and lock the bottom cover. Let's slip the roll guard onto the label shaft and secure it by twisting the guard clockwise until it locks into place. You'll want to be sure that there's at least an eighth of an inch between the roll guard and the roll of labels so that the guard is not applying any counter pressure to the advancing mechanism. It's important to note that every time you squeeze the trigger, the labels will only advance between 20 and 60 millimeters, or between approximately one and two and a half inches. So some of the labels will require more than one, even up to three or four strokes per label. When applying a longer label, make sure to stop squeezing the trigger when you meet resistance from the applicator as this indicates that the mech sensor has stopped the trigger. Forcing the trigger past the resistance point may jam or even damage the applicator's internal mechanism. Once your applicator is properly loaded, you are ready to begin labeling. To label an item, simply pick up the applicator and squeeze the trigger until you meet resistance. This indicates that you have reached the end of a label. Hold the applicator directly over the product, then just apply the label to your product. Release the trigger, and you're all done. This has been another Kenco webcast. For more information and outstanding prices on these products, visit us on the web today at www.kencostore.com or call us toll free at 1-800-86-KENCO. For more product videos and tutorials like this, go to www.kenco.tv.